Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Stormworks tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make some steam and get your vehicles moving with the new nuclear fission reactors. So uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so getting started, I have the base steam set up from the last video. If you don't know what any of this is, uh, I recommend you go watch that video. It's all explained over there. And the concept is simple. Um, instead of using a coal fire to heat it up, we're going to be using um, nuclear reactions. To get started, I'm going to get some ports because we're essentially going to be building a large water tank. Doesn't really matter which order um, you do it in, you just need two fluid ports going in there. Okay, and then we're going to actually get our rods. Okay, so here in the steam tab, we're going to get um, the nuclear fuel assembly. This is going to be the base that we're going to be using. Let's get a handful. We'll get we'll get six. And what we're going to need to do is shove a fuel rod into them. They have this like channel, and with a little hole at the bottom. And we're going to be poking our um, fuel rods in there to start the reaction. What we're going to need is some kind of track. Get a base in here so we can actually insert them and maybe remove them. So next we get the fuel rod and we're going to stick them in with the pointy um, kind of pokey end facing in and the flat side um, against our um, slider track. Okay and so before like I said we're going to be building a sort of tank so we're going to get some walls. Okay uh, I have a little tank and I put some glass in the front so uh, we can see what's going on in there and I'm going to get a fluid spawner because I don't want to uh, waste time and pump a bunch of water in there so we'll just spawn some fresh water in um, and that'll be great there's a few things we're going to need you could ever use a switch or something to toggle your slider in there I'm just going to be using a um, throttle lever I think that would be the easiest way I'm also going to put a dial for um, reading and the temperature on our rods so I'll quickly just power all our new stuff up to the battery and what we'll do is I'll take our slider put that on the um, lever here and we'll just um, connect the temperature up to any one of these um, they're all going to read out the same and if you notice here you can actually eject these um, release depleted ones and reload them okay so this should work now and um, I'm going to just put this in at full goes in we have a nice click there and as you can see our temperature is starting to increase um, but this is not going to work yet because we haven't got a way for our water to come in um, and so we're gonna actually need a pump to get these in here so I'll quickly set that up for you okay so I have added a small impeller pump with a motor here and the motor is simply connected to some ele electricity and um, connected to our slider here so it's just basically on full pump the whole time as soon as this goes in um, so we should get some circulation of water in here now and as you can see um, our boiler is starting to gain some temperature as is the reactor okay it's been a few seconds and we're getting to just up to 500 now and this is starting to go really bright we're also getting some steam um, in our turbine so our boiler is getting up that is going to eventually um, exceed the pressure and blow up and this is getting way over there we go and there is a few ways we can um, mitigate and control the temperature and uh, yeah there it goes it just just melt down and uh, very bad for our reactor there so to control our temperature I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get a control rod and the way you use these but you just need to put them in line and next to your um, fuel assembly we have a few dots on here and um, testing this I had it a bit too far back and you have to have your control rods actually lined up with the 
um, assembly and uh, we can control these with another lever okay so I've got another throttle lever here and I'm going to just simply wire those up and so upon our assembly gaining too much temperature we can simply insert these rods a little bit and as you can see that has halted the increase and let's get a little bit more and completely stopped it really that's going to start um, losing temperature eventually and that is how we're going to regulate um, the temperature on our boiler as well so you could use um, some logic systems maybe a uh, PID and just control this and yeah it's a really really powerful way of um, getting some power in so hope you enjoyed this and I'm gonna let this fly free right now there we go so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned um, this pretty simple thinking about it uh, you just need to learn the basics of steam boilers and um, using temperature in the game it's really cool and I hope to see some cool workshop creations with this in so yeah thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you later